we're going to start this uh, live stream with a bang. So, cheers. <laughs> So what we've just showed you here is the durability of slate light against a conventional white bathroom tile. So I'm Marius Ehrlich and this is Monique and we welcome you to this live stream. So today's topic um, showing here will be bathrooms and shower areas, application in these areas. Uh, fitting to our promotion weeks uh, in the bathroom, which we have the promotion bundles on our website as, uh, available as well. Uh, just a fun fact to start off with today is that today is the birthday of the inventor of Slate Light, who was born in 1942 on the 9th of September. Yeah, so now we can uh, take a look at some project photos um, about the material and um, projects we'll be talking about today. So here we can see an old bathroom um, with some uh, old looking tiles. Um, that's the before and uh, right now we can show you a picture of the after. Um, after the project was uh, finished using slate light, uh, right here we have the rustic stone and um, yeah, let's see the next picture. Here we have some uh, large sized formats that we also um, sell as a package at the moment. And uh, you can see that um, they're in the shower, they're sealed. Can we see the next picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we have the back wall of the toilet. Um, I just wanted to show you guys these project pictures to make clear uh, where you can use slate light and that it's no problem to glue them over old tiles and uh, use to be used in wet areas and bathroom areas. Okay, so uh, this is another bathroom application. You can see the uh, material applied behind the toilet, but what's special about this uh, project is actually the material in the shower area. So you can see it's large formats uh, which have been applied. Um, these size, uh, this is, in this case is a size 240 by 120, so um, really reaching to the ceiling of the uh, bathroom area. Uh, now we'll get into the different type of joints which you can uh, make with slate light or which you can have in a slate light application. In this case, you'll see grouted joints, um, which can either be done with a uh, flexi grout or with a silicone material and uh, very nicely spaced and uh, contrasted in this case as well. In this case, what you see is butt joints. So you have the sheets really one attached to the other or one directly next to each other, which is something which is not always possible in uh, massive tiles or massive stones due to cutting tolerances. With slate light, it's a very, very simple application also to do direct butt joints. Important in that case is that the cutting at the application side or before application is done accurately so that you don't have any space between the joints. Here you can see a uh, yeah, overlap to uh, wallpaper materials. So you have on the right hand side, you have the slate light applied to a bathroom surface. And on the left hand side, you can see that it continues in the wallpaper. Here again, you have the exact butt of these uh, two materials. You can really not see any, uh, yeah, tolerances or any uh, spaces between them. It is given a very, very nice clean joint. In this case, you can see the butted joints, but at the top, there's a very slight uh, profile. Oh, sorry. Uh, and here you can see the uh, material uh, attached or butted to a mortared wall. So here you have a uh, backsplash of a vanity, which uh, can also be 
done. And again, here, the close-up of the profile. This is the end profile. So uh, there are also different variations of this, uh, varying from end profile, butt profile, um, corner profile, or external corner profile. Now to a few specialties about the material. We do have a sample set, which uh, we also offer on our uh, online shop. So we have different types of stones, um, and some are more or less um, applicable in the bathroom area. So especially three types or three decors of stone in our range are not recommended for the bathroom area because they have a high volume of uh, calcium. So those are the ice pearl, green pearl, and jade green, which are less recommended for the bathroom areas as they can react to moisture. So if there's any uh, defect in the sealer or uh, in the application of the sealer, or more said, um, then there can be color changes to these products. Um, otherwise, uh, one tip from our side is we are trying to be as ecologically friendly as possible. So we have the opportunity of when you buy a sample set, you don't have to throw it away after you've looked at it or after you've decided what you want to have. You can send it back to us and get cash back um, and we can reuse the sample set and ship it to other customers who are interested in the products. Yeah, so now we will show you some of our accessories that um, we sell and use to apply slate light. Here we have the bath and uh, exterior extreme adhesive, uh, which we use for wet areas, exterior areas. So uh, this is a very uh, sticky glue. Um, what else do we have? We have the B3 trowel, which we uh, use to spread the glue, um, which is very optimal due to the uh, B3 three spikes. Here we have the cartridge gun. We also have in range um, for the glue, of course. Uh, so it's easier to apply this. Um, for example, in bigger projects, it'll just be easier to apply the glue with the cartridge gun. Here we have our sealant that um, we use to seal slate light for um, wet areas, um, also maybe in the kitchen, which we're not talking about today, but um, for the bathroom, this is optimal. Um, yeah. One tip to the sealer is that there is a primer, so it's important to apply the primer first, and afterwards, around three hours after applying the primer, you can apply the two component sealer accordingly. Here we have the silicone that you can use for the joints and the grouting is optional, of course. Here we have the sponge roller, which we use to apply the sealant on top of the stone afterwards. It works very well with this. Yeah, and um, our profile sample set, it's very small. Normally, these are two and a half meters long. Um, yeah, we can see some profiles here. So we have the butt joint, the end piece, which is difficult to see a little bit in the camera, the external corner, and the internal corner. These are also available in different colors. Okay, now we're going to show you some action. So what we will do now is cut a piece of slate light. Oh, one moment. Next. So this is practically to show you how easy and simple slate light is to cut. Here is the piece of slate light which I had earlier, which we beat with a hammer, which you don't see anything on the back or the surface side. Um, 
It really depends on the applier uh, or the installer. I personally, I recommend cutting from the back side or I prefer cutting from the back side. Um, in this case, I will do the same. So now I'll just cut off here this corner. So you see, very simple cut, straight cut. Of course, if you use a profile, it will be much more simple to cut through this material. That's how easy that went. Okay, now Monique will go ahead and drill into the material. We'll do this from the back side as well. Okay. I'll just hold on to the material because if it's not already applied to a surface, it could start spinning with the uh, saw itself. Okay. Now it seems a little bit more pressure is needed for the stone, uh, for the uh, wood base underneath. <laughs> so, are we through? Yes. There we go. We should be ah, almost, not quite. There's a little edge left. There we go. Okay. okay. So, uh, I did need a little bit more power due to the wood being underneath. Definitely, yeah. But this is very clean. So for any sockets or uh, um, fitting installation, you have the possibility just to drill a hole with a standard hole drill. Um, yeah, very quick, very simple. Yeah, now uh, we might show you um, how Something would be cleaned in the bathroom on slate light. This video is mine. Okay. Or, uh, yeah, we can show you the video first of how to apply slate light in the bathroom. Yeah, here you can see um, the cleaning of the tiles first. Leveling of the uh, grouting joints, of yeah. the existing grouting joints is done then uh, the norms of the country must be uh, kept in mind. This is a uh, primer being applied. Nick? Yeah, um, you can see the adhesive being applied, the trowel being used to spread it all over the walls. You can either do this uh, directly on the wall or on the slate light, whichever seems easier to you. Um, the slate light cutouts are now applied to the wall you can see that uh, there is no space in between them, so you can just really join them very close together. Yeah. You um, will need a plastic roller or something similar to adjust the slate light and press it down yeah. to the wall to get to get it to stick properly and uh, there is no air bubbles left in between. Here we can see the sealant being applied afterwards with the sponge roller, which is very easy. And now the silicone is applied and it's already finished. So I don't think it can get any easier. Yeah, so the final result, uh, as you can see, I think is uh, very, very uh, satisfactory. It uh, looks very nice and uh, very, very, yeah, luxurious almost. Yes. Okay. So yeah, so now we're going to get to cleaning. We have uh, prepared a slate light sheet which is sealed on one side and uh, unsealed on the other side. Which side is sealed? Because 
This side would be the sealed side. Yes. This side would be the unsealed side. I'll try to hold it up a little bit better. There we go. Yeah. And uh, I'll just get my water and sponge. So this is just clear water. Nothing else. Um, to show you how easy this can be cleaned and um, how the water affects the stone. So, so right here we have the toothpaste. I'll just I'm just gonna go over it. Yeah. Can you use the other side of the sponge maybe. Okay, I'll try that. Here you can properly, properly see um, which side is more affected by the water, which is uh, obviously the unsealed side. Give me one second. I'll just put this right in front so everybody sees which components exactly yes. are. Yeah. So yeah, we apply toothpaste on the first part. Uh, now I'll be washing off the body lotion which is also a product uh, that is often used in the bathroom i would say um, on top of that we have hair gel uh, let's see how that reacts okay i have to wipe a bit harder but uh, you can see the effect of the sealant very well We'll go ahead and dry off the sheet afterwards so you can yeah. see the uh, result. Um, what do we have on top here? Shower gel? Shower gel, yes. exactly. So shower, shower soap, sorry. Shower soap, shower gel, whatever you might call it. Yeah, so I pretty much tried to clean off everything. We did apply a lot of product, <laughs> which would normally not be the case. Um, but uh, we did want to show you. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just like take it all off. We can see some soap here. So don't get worried. Up. What you can see on this side is that you do have some marks from the uh, from two of the components, but those will dry out. The, the sealer is water vapor permeable. So it's practically the water vapor which goes in, but we'll show you that in a second after drying off the sheet. Here's the towel. Here's the towel. Perfect. Okay. I will dry off the sheet now. And I think we have not mentioned it yet, but feel free to ask questions uh, during our live stream so we might be able to get back to you. It's still on those wet. As soon as possible. It's still wet, but we will blow dry it for a minute. Before I start, important is to keep in mind that you don't get too close to the sealed surface with the blow dryer, otherwise, it could start to bubble up. So you can see here that the marks which it did have start to disappear once the material has completely dried out. Okay, so that's the sheet which uh, the sealer was applied to and toothpaste, body lotion, gel and uh, shower soap were applied to. Next. 
Yeah, so now we can show you some uh, samples, which we did a specific test on. Here we go. So this has been tested in our laboratory. Um, we'll show you a quick picture. It's been put into a uh, tub with uh, high calcium content. And you see there have been a lot of uh, calcium yeah, deposits which are uh, sticking to the material. So in this type of case, really it's fairly simple just as we did just now. Um, I'm going to take this carton. And the product, in this case, it's Silit Bang um, calcium remover. It just sprayed on. We have to wait a few seconds until it's uh, really in the material, and then we can start wiping it off, and you'll see the result directly at the end. Um, we have a question uh, from the viewers. If we cut the material before or after applying the sealer, um, both can be done. So you can apply the uh, sealer before or after cutting. Important if applying the sealer before cutting is that once you've cut the material, you have an open side. So what you have to do then is you have to go ahead and reseal the edge of the material which uh, isn't always the most uh, time efficient to do. So in that case, I would recommend the application of the sealer after the um, cut has been done. Okay, so it's been a few moments. Um, now we'll just go ahead and wipe off the rest of the material here. Oh, it's gone. Again, I'll take our Handy blow dryer. Let me get the excess, uh, excess product off. All right. And now you'll notice fairly quickly that the full sheet goes back to its normal coloration. You have no calcium line. You have no calcium on the surface here. And there was a lot. And exactly, it was a very high calcium deposit on the material before. There's not any left. How long was this in the tub for? Uh, that's been in the tub for uh, a couple of weeks now. Yeah, that was really easy. Well, if you do have any questions, if you're seeing this video afterwards, you can contact us um, on various platforms. We have almost every social media there is, so you can contact us over our website. You can write us in what's, uh, WhatsApp. You can call us, of course, Instagram, Facebook. Um, we're always active, so yeah, don't hesitate to ask us any questions if you need anything. Yeah. One more thing I'd like to uh, say is uh, please feel free also if you have any certain application areas which uh, you're looking to apply this type of material to, uh, just write us an email or uh, give us a call and uh, maybe the next show will be about that application area. We'll see. Yeah, I think um, that would be it for today. Like I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. And uh, I would say until next time. See you next time. Bye.